I think it's fair to say we've all used these in the past. Sticky notes, post-it notes, these notes invented by Arthur Fry and Spencer Silver. Post-it notes. When we're working in the office, perhaps, and we get a call and we need to take a quick note. We'll hunt around for post-it notes and our pen. We'll take a quick note and then we'll put it on our monitor, on our desk somewhere. But incidentally, we are actually using post-it notes wrong. You should peel them off really quick rather than have them all curl up. But that's a separate, that's a separate tip there. But yeah, in an office, that might be fine if we're at the same desk every single day. These days, if we're working at home in a shared office location, we don't always want all these notes all over the place. And if I was doing that here, I pretty much guarantee it's only a matter of time before I see one of my cats and they've got about five post-it notes stuck to their fur. So we don't want that. We don't want to use post-it notes. I want to show you how to unlearn that habit and learn this new way of working using an application that's part of Microsoft 365 called OneNote. OneNote is a really good application for everything else related to note taking. So if you don't already use it, certainly start using it. But I want to show you one particular feature that can replace the use of the post-it notes. Let's have a look on the PC here. So I've already got one note running in the background. Somebody calls me, I need to take a quick note. I don't want to be looking around for my post-it notes and my pen. All I want to do is do one keyboard shortcut. And that keyboard shortcut is the Windows key, so the Microsoft key, and the letter N. This brings up this post-it note. It's, it's a virtual post-it note. So I could say, call, about my car and I've taken that note and I can finish the call, carry on doing what I was doing um, prior to that. Where does that post it? Where does that virtual post it note go? Well, it's in OneNote. So in OneNote, I've got my OneNote here and there it is. I open it and it's in my quick notes. You can access, you can have as many OneNote notebooks as you want. As you can see here, I've got a couple. The quick notes that I take will always be in here. Always be in here. So if I was to do that again, an alternative way of taking the quick note, other than the Windows N shortcut, down in your taskbar here, where you see the little OneNote icon, again, if you click on that, that takes a quick note. So another quick note. Close it and I can carry on doing what I was doing to get back to that quick note later, open OneNote again, and my quick notes are all listed here, down the right hand side. So I need to call about my car. I've got another quick note there. And it's as simple as that. No need to have these post-it notes all over the place. A simple Windows letter N. In this case, it is a very similar color to post-it notes, but that's something you can change as well. So you can change the, the visual appearance of it. So there we go. Unlearning the habit of lots of post-it notes. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Arthur and Mr. Spencer, but I'm trying to encourage people not to use your product. Um, use Microsoft OneNote. Windows key, letter N to do a quick note. And don't forget to look at all the other great features of Microsoft OneNote.